on a macro level, the goal of our develop initiative is to build an inclusive economy and to equip minority owned businesses and entrepreneurs with the resources and relationships that they need to be successful. Welcome to Buzz House, a Baker Tilly podcast where you can find all the buzz around multifamily housing. I'm Don Bernards, the partner in charge of Baker Tilly's multifamily housing practice. And I'm Garrett Gibson, a partner at Baker Tilly, also specializing in consulting on multifamily housing transactions across the country. Each week, we'll bring you a guest or a topic in the multifamily housing industry that will help you win now and anticipate tomorrow. Let's get started. We are excited to have Matt Pichal from Baker Tilly join us in the bus house again today. Matt, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Matt is the program director of the Develop Initiative, which is our program around underrepresented developer services. Uh, Very excited to kind of jump into updates around that and uh, also specifically talk about uh, the next event uh, in the initiative. Before jumping in with Matt, I want to give you a few updates from around the industry. In state light tech credit news, legislators in Arizona introduced a bill recently to extend the state's loan composing tax credit which were expiring in December 21st, 25, moving it back to six more years to 2031. The bill would also raise the annual state cap from $4 million to $12 million beginning in 2024. Other news, a bill introduced recently in the New Hampshire legislature would establish a historic tax credit for housing. The bill would create a five-year credit cap at $5 million annually in contributions for historical structures being used or converted to multifamily apartments. If passed, legislation would take effect July 1st of 2023. So just again, we continue to see the trends around historic tax credits related to housing, state loan housing tax credits, and so forth. In other news, the National Low Income Housing Coalition recently released a memorandum entitled Advancing Housing Justice in the 118th Congress. This memorandum addressed to the new Congress outlines the ongoing need for federal investments in affordable, accessible housing and the long-term solutions required to end the nation's affordable housing and homelessness crisis. We'll have a link to this report on our website. In other news, the White House announced an initiative to protect tenants and make renting more affordable. The initiative includes a blueprint for a renter's bill of rights that will guide federal agency actions to identify practices that unfairly treat tenants in and applicants for rental housing and a separate resident-centered housing challenge to landlords and state and local governments to take actions that protect renters. The administration says it welcomes additional commitments from interested stakeholders to take actions aligned with the blueprint principles and the joint challenge for resident-centered housing practices. We'll have a link to the survey and its challenge on our website. One final note, HUD has stated a target of May 15th to release income limits for 2023. As you are aware, HUD's recent or many times its goal is to release rent and income levels around April 1st of each year. The 2020 American Community Survey data would normally be used for 2023, but due to COVID and incomplete uh, collection and related issues, 2021 ACS data is being used. HUD did not receive that data until here in early 2023, pushing back the release of rent. So again, May 15th is the target to release income limits in 2023. Now, Garrick and I will get into our discussion with Matt. Garrick, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, thanks, Don. Thanks for that introduction. And Matt, you know, you've joined us on the Buzz House before, but for our listeners, uh, would you please let them know about your role at Baker Tilly? Yes, absolutely. And uh, thank you again, Don and Garrett, for having me this morning. Very excited to be here. So as a National Program Director for Develop, my overall job is to help our team redefine how we do business in the affordable housing realm. I help our team accomplish this in a couple of ways. So the first is by developing and executing a business strategy that enables us to serve more underrepresented developers, which culminates with both our annual develop educational event, as well as our annual think tank event. I facilitate partnerships with talent development programs that are focused on increasing the percentage of diverse talent within the community development industry. And we understand that that's essential to the success of our program as it's a business imperative that our team is reflective of our clients and the communities that they serve. I collaborate with senior leaders across Baker Tilly to help develop metrics that enable us to further quantify our impact on historically under-resourced communities to date, as well as establish new metrics on how we can quantify our impact in the future. And I'm working with leaders like Don and other partners to think bigger about the impact that we can have on our clients, as well as other minority-owned businesses that our clients may engage with during their projects. And then last but not least, 
I identify and facilitate strategic partnerships with like-minded stakeholders that are mission aligned in terms of their commitment to helping build capacity for emerging underrepresented developers. Thanks, Matt. And, you know, uh, jumping right in, obviously we had a very successful develop uh, event in Milwaukee and we are excited to jump into the event in Atlanta. But before doing so, tell us the overall goal of the event and how that ties into the overall develop programming. Yes. So on a macro level, the goal of our develop initiative is to build an inclusive economy and to equip minority owned businesses and entrepreneurs with the resources and relationships that they need to be successful. And so the goal of our annual develop housing workshop is to bring national housing and real estate solutions and professionals to local real estate markets. And so in doing this, our hope is that these professionals will foster meaningful relationships with stakeholders from across the country that is gonna enable them to do larger and more impactful deals down the road. The crux of our develop initiative initially was to mitigate barriers to social capital, capital and affordable housing subject matter expertise for our clients. Very good, man. Thank, thanks for that kind of kind of overview and background. Man, just with this this event coming up here in Atlanta, what is like generally the shape of the two days? Maybe just an overview of what, what we can expect and, and maybe attendees can expect in general. Yes, absolutely. So first and foremost, you can expect an incredibly vibrant and diverse environment that's going to be filled with some of the brightest minds in our industry. Um, and you can expect a lot of learning, a lot of laughing, relationship building, and the sharing of ideas that are going to shape the collective future in which we live and we're, are going to shape affordable housing as well as the broader commercial real estate industry. I think from a subject perspective, it really does run the gamut. I think one of the things that we learned from our event last year was that there were bigger ideas that our attendees wanted to talk about and ideate about. And so that really went into the formation of our agenda for this year. So we're touching on traditional things like affordable housing in the southeastern region and beyond, as well as broader environmental and sustainable considerations for design. Um, but we're also talking about things like ESG metrics. And what does that mean for affordable housing? What does that mean for the housing industry moving forward? We're going to be talking about venture development models and how to impact health and education outcomes through real estate development and the role that real estate developers play in impacting their communities. We're going to be talking about the future of, of our industry and really what does that mean with just how fast the market is changing to date, as well as trends that we that we know about and that we don't know that are going to shape our industry down the road. Um, so it's going to be a very diverse subject matter in comparison to last year, but we we welcome that and we understand that from year to year and from city to city, um, our agenda is going to evolve based off what the stakeholders in that market want and need to hear. Yeah, well, that's great. So, so you know, in terms of actually the, the conference, so what was your thought process in coming up with the actual session topics? So I worked very closely with Don initially to put together a comprehensive list of topics that we felt like were important based off of the feedback that we had gotten from the event last year, and then worked very closely with two Atlanta based groups. The first one being House ATL, which is a non housing nonprofit in Atlanta, as well as Urban Land Institute's Atlanta office and their DEI committee in particular. And so it was a it was a collaborative process of having them review our topics, kind of give us some additional feedback as to what they felt like the developers in their market really wanted and needed to know. And from there, just refining the subject matter to ensure that we accomplished our goals and were able to bring in some of the subject matter experts that we felt like could bring value, as well as making sure that we were putting together something that was comprehensive and that the stakeholders in Atlanta and the broader Southeast region would really be excited to engage with and to attend. Man, maybe one, one or two more questions. Um, Give us a little bit of a, a flavor for the speaker roster. I know it's, again, probably very diverse. We talked about panels or many different topics. Tell us about the what we can expect on the, on the speaker roster. Yes. So there are a couple different speakers that I'm I'm super excited about everyone, just given the sheer brain power that we're going to have in the room. But a couple people that I'm excited about are Morgan Malone. Morgan Malone is a Chicago-based social impact mind and academic, and so is very focused on equitable development, what what role do all stakeholders play in building a collective um, equitable future? And so I'm super excited for her to give her keynote. I'm super excited to have Kevin Newell, 
who, who Buzz House knows very well and who Baker Tilly knows very well, um, but giving Kevin the opportunity to speak on his holistic development model and how he's really impacting health and education outcomes through his developments. Um, Joshua Pollard is another one from Amicello. Joshua is going to be able to share a little bit more about how he built his business and his investment strategy, because although he interacts in the real estate environment, it's in a way that's non-traditional for many. And so I'm excited for him to get into the nitty gritty around that. And then we're also going to have um, Joel Dixon, who's very well known in Atlanta, but is a community based developer who's doing a lot of large scale developments in the Atlanta area. So super excited for that. And those are just a couple, but again, it's really gonna, we're gonna have healthcare professionals. We're gonna have education professionals. We're gonna have ESG professionals. So it really, gonna, it really is gonna run the gamut in terms of the subject matter we're able to cover. I mean, actually I had one question uh, that just popped in my mind. I know we had talked about, um, and there's a, an effort to reach out to some, some college students uh, in the Atlanta area. Could you talk on, 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 on those efforts and, and the thoughts around that? Yes, absolutely. So it kind of goes back to one of the first questions that you asked me this morning, which is what is develop overall, right? And so when we think about develop, it's really about, it really is the firm's commitment and our team's commitment to building an inclusive economy, which means in this case, making our industry accessible to those who may not have previously known that we existed and or had access to inter internship opportunities like ones with Baker Tilly. And so the thought process with doing develop in Atlanta was how can we ensure that we include college students who may not know the community development exists, may not know people in the industry or have access to industry professionals at all. And we decided to do direct outreach to Clark Atlanta, Morehouse and Spelman University with the goal of having 30 HBCU students at develop really just to give them the space to network to learn, to ask questions and to expand their horizons as to what is possible for them to achieve and to see people that look like them um, impacting communities and achieving great success. And so we understand that not only is develop how we show up in the business realm through the work that we do with clients and the outcomes of our services, but also the type of the way that we invest in talent and the way that we invest in future talent of our industry, whether it's going to be to the benefit of Baker Tilly or whether or not it's going to be to the benefit of just the industry overall, we understand that that's incredibly important as well. And so moving forward, develop is going to be a space where we're going to constantly be sponsoring students from diverse backgrounds to show them the the wide variety of things that they can do within the real estate industry. Very good. We really appreciate appreciate the answer. And Matt, really appreciate you for joining us today here in the bus house and really looking forward to the event. Yes, thank you so much, Don and Garrick. Really appreciate it. Very good. Listeners, thank you for tuning in as well. Thank you for listening to Buzz House. To receive a notification when new episodes are available, please subscribe to Buzz House, a Baker Tilly podcast, wherever you get your podcasts. For additional resources around multifamily housing, check out bakertilly.com. And if you have a suggested topic, please send them to build at bakertilly.com. That's B-U-I-L-D at bakertilly.com.